Um, I think I accidentally set things in motion. <laughs> so I'm going to go up here and try and follow them through whilst on camera. And also, hello, welcome back to Doom. Uh, now, 42% health, who I keep wanting to call 42% gamer, but it's not his name, did say that in each of these levels there is a switch, which doesn't seem to show up on the map, um, unless it does and I can't see it, which opens up an area that looks like original Doom. So that could well be what's in there, because obviously I couldn't find a way into it. <clears throat> Excuse me, it seemed like the only way into it, uh, yep, the only way into it appeared to be behind where one of those drones comes from. Uh, apparently we're going in here. Okay, no we're not. So we stop and wait on one of these. I've seen this before. Uh, those drones down there. One of the docking bays appears to be the way into that place, so I'm going to assume that I just need to... Well, how did we end up that far around? Uh... No, apparently we're not going to dock with that one. Fine then. So I'm going to assume that there's a lever to pull and then that will let us in to that place. I am disappointed by this. And in general, I've been a little bit disappointed by all the motion type things, all the parts of the game that take you somewhere else. Um, with their jerkiness. There's no real reason for something this... Modern to have such strange uh, physics when it comes to being standing on something that is actually, you know, performing. It shouldn't shudder. Why is it shuddering? Nice. Wonder what happens if they're standing in that. What happens if I'm standing in that? Because that looks like the sort of stuff that I am quite capable of uh, stomaching, right? Because I'm made of argent magic. I don't know. Am I recording? Double check. Yes, I am recording. Look, a couple of imps are not going to prevent me from running around here. And in fact, this is exactly the sort of place I'd expect to meet a cacodemon, because it looks like the sort of place we met a cacodemon in Doom 3. Zap it. Yes, nice. That's what we like to see. Imps standing in silly places, getting owned. Thank you for the ammo. The reason I'm using the pistol is because I had it out seeing if I could shoot anything that was... Uh, A secret, basically. I'm trying to shoot stuff to get a secret. Look at that shuddering! Shouldn't be a thing. Uh, and I didn't want to waste ammo that I didn't really have on trying to find a secret. Checkpoint reached. Guess that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, no. I want to be over there. Can we get over there? Potentially. I mean, no. <laughs> Apparently. Although I can stand on here, so that's... At least some of my failure has been compensated for. How do we get over there? Look at the map. Just look at the map. It appears to be associated with that. Maybe we can get out. We'll have a look. For now, we'll go up here. And see what's on the other side of here. Trying to kill me. The other thing I was thinking is that I don't feel too good about the combat in this game. Well, okay. The combat is fun. Being able to do this sort of thing is... Very satisfying. It's not like I can complain about the fact that I'm head like kneeing things in their head and spl spilling their own blood and guts and bashing things up with their own arms, etc. But pushing them into walls and that it's pretty pretty satisfying. But I find that when it's in a big arena like we were in before, it's very frantic, and I feel like the fact that it's easy to die is artificial. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Like, I don't feel like the reason that I die in those things is because it's difficult. Although it is difficult, but it's difficult because there's things all over the place, you know. Chucking, uh... Chucking shots at you from random places, climbing up the walls and all that sort of thing. <laughs> That's how we get our ammo back. Oh, shizn it! I didn't expect to chainsaw a hell knight to death, but it has just happened. <laughs> we have full ammo for everything now. That's awesome. Uh, but I, I feel like the original Doom, the combat was more... You know, m metered out, more thoughtful, almost. Even though it was... Why couldn't I... Um, like, 
it wasn't so much that it was tactical. I don't even want to say that. It's just... Hi, Jen. It's just that, um... It wasn't so frantic. And it's the franticness of the... Wait, 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 wait. Of the new one that makes it seem a little bit artificial. Like, the difficulty seems artificial because of how frantic that is. I want to get it there, please. Well, not getting it there. <laughs> Squish me. Although, I think I'm supposed to get up there. So, what happened? Why wouldn't you grab onto the edge, you naughty man? Jen's probably making coffee. What are you doing? Making tea, but there's coffee in the pot. I made you actual coffee because you asked for it. You said, make me coffee or I'm leaving you. So I did. That's what I heard. Also, the armor in this game is just extra health. So what's the point? Super shotgun is super helpful, though. It's in the name. Oh, yeah, we wanted to uh, change all this jerky. Nice. We wanted to change all this jerky, too. Wait around the corner. Jump out. Kill. I like how he puts his shield down just so that I can uh, actually chainsaw him in the face. Very convenient. Like, thanks for the consideration. Because I couldn't get through his shield with a chainsaw. That wouldn't make any sense. And yeah, he just puts it down, says, come at me, bro. Which I do. I wish you could chain these together like Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> I tip that one over. I like the variety. But you know, it's just... Yeah, the artificial dying in combat is... It's a bad taste in your mouth. I don't want this. I want this. I get up. Move this train out of my way. Get up there and grab onto the edge. That's more like it. Now we go over here and we play this. Yay, mini game. Rune trial. Equipment power increases effectiveness of equipment items. Grenades? Do you think they can hear the kettle? I'm going to move the microphone because I'm not very loud on the recording. I hope that didn't come through. Start challenge. Kill everything really fast. Okay, good. It's barrels. It's a barrel challenge, but there's imps in the way. Wait, what am I trying to kill? Oh, I'm trying to kill these bad guys, but there's barrels in the way. I understand. Wait, read, read that again. Eliminate targets with explosions. Right, you have to blow up the barrels to kill the baddies. Doom just crashed. Come back. It didn't crash. It just minimized itself for no reason. That happens all the time. Low health. I've got one HP. I'm not allowed to get hit. I'm starting to wonder whether I should have... Um, ...taken the predator suit upgrade that actually allows me to... ...be around these explosions. This is extremely hard because... ...the explosions are not near the baddies. Alright, we're going to have to do this differently. May have to pay attention on this challenge. Alright, start. All right, what are we doing here? We've got 10 seconds, which means maybe we have to sort of wait for things to be in a sensible location. There we go. Maybe we have to, like, walk them towards us like this. Get as many as we can with one bang. There we go. That gave us several seconds. How many are we trying to get? 10. So you wander up towards us. Here we go. There's one beside me. I know it. There we go. We had to wait. That's why we had more seconds. I don't know if I want to use that. Effectiveness of equipment items, but it does allow us to equip a second rune, right? Because we should have done enough to unlock the second rune slot. Come on, load. Game. I haven't got time for your shenanigans. Up to three rune. So, I'm not really using equipment items, right? But I did like having... Let's let's start using equipment items. I assume that is our... Um, our... Um, grenade right now. Stimulant infuses argument plasma to the basal layer below the dermis, creating a tough film of bioplasma, blah, 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 blah. You're in... You're invulnerable. <laughs> Bioplasma comes in direct contact with nerve cells. Excruciating. It hurts, apparently. You're invincible, but it's excruciatingly painful. 
I like the fact that invulnerability sphere to demons causes them to go berserk. We've done that. We just need to climb now. All right, let's let's just move along. Move along, please, sir. Can I? Would you lower that for me, kindly? Where am I going? Not through there. Let's get up here again. Oh, do I need to run along the? Nope, I see. Wait for the train. What are those doing? It's another one of those arbitrary... <laughs> punch. Nice. Um, arbitrary sort of inventions of a designer. Loading dock. See, I feel like I'm supposed to go this way, right? Oh, maybe not. What is that zappy thing? I mean, someone said make it circular and difficult, so they did. But I'm not quite sure if it really represents much. What? Um, didn't mean to do that. Where am I? Am I down, down at the bottom again? I am. I fell down by accident. Get back up here. Not through there. Ah! Now I have to wait. These trains could be quicker, if I'm being honest. Come on. You're just transporting nothing for the sake of being in my way. Maybe they're generating power or something. Missed. In your own time, this is going to be a 20 minute episode of me staring at the side of this train, waiting for it to move. It's not even a train, I'm just calling it that. Ah! It has a zap on it, so that means it's made of power, right? I'm going to shoot it because I hate it. Let me through. This is definitely the way I came up, yeah. There's not much of a gap between them either. There we go. And now, I have, do I have to wait? No, in fact, jumping on it did help. A minor amount. Um. Oh. Mega health. I have now got 200 health, which has actually increased beyond the amount that I'm allowed to have. Yeah. So once you pick it up, it, I assume it puts you at 200 health, and then if you go back down below 150 health, which is what we're at, you don't get to keep the uh, upgrade to 200. It's temporary. You're temporarily able to have 200 health. This reminds me of Tron so much. Did you play Tron 2.0? I really like Tron 2.0. In fact, I was considering doing a stream on it. Um, but it wasn't so well received by other people. I guess I was... I've always had a soft spot for Tron, because I've always liked the aesthetic of it, the style. Um, but other people were like, eh, didn't really tickle their fancy. But the other thing is that, oh, I've got a lot of armor that I'm not allowed to have, maybe, as well. Um, it was not necessarily considered canon. What were you promised, Olivia Pierce? She's got a, she's English, but not very good at it. Kill Olivia Pierce, scale the tower. What did I just win? A hologram. The holiday chest has invisible cloud of Anna's Argon. Can you check some image through? Have, have I literally just picked up a hologram that I can use to. Uh, I've forgotten how to cycle those. <laughs> Change? Change to the other one? What is this? That is also a hologram, so it must have. Weapons. How do I change my settings? Mouse and keyboard. Key bindings. Switch weapon. Switch weapon mod. Next equipment F1. I wouldn't have known that. Hologram. Let's use it. That's me. Look. Shoot this one. Not that one. There's two of them. I can charge it up, so that when I figure out what it's done, I can uh, recharge it without having to waste it. I assume it doesn't give me two holograms. Bring that down here. That's what we like to see. Yep. Be careful. Oh, I died halfway down. <laughs> Fair enough. I, um, I wanted to see how far down it went, and I ended up doing that by jumping. Off. Good job.
let's go. Come on. Space. I didn't really intend to do that, so I guess now we know. And we also know that we can press F1. Oh, I've got my hologram, but there's two more. Pistol. Shoot. You know what? Just... There is a thingy behind me that I can use to just refill this anyway, so why the heck not? What is my other... Max... Oh, that's a plasma rifle, isn't it? Um, what is my other option for the right-click ability of... Why is that bumpy? I don't like it. Of the... Welcome to the USA. Assault rifle. Here. Opening the gates of hell with the key to the future. There we go. Well, we're nice to start up for Olivia Pierce here. You know when the game's about to send you into a place that's going to use a lot of ammo because they stock you up completely full of ammo just before you go. Um, stand here and open this massive door with the same amount of force as I require to open a normal door. See ya. I guess we found the portal to hell that's just been opened by Olivia Pierce. So I didn't really do too well on this... Uh, Don't do too well on this particular... Oh, those are spirally rockets. Um, level, because obviously there's a lot of challenges on this level that I didn't achieve. Not this. This. Really need that thing to be stunned. AF. Where's that? In. Also, not this. There we go. I kind of hoped that I could uh, get something out of my glory kill there, but it didn't happen. Right, stop going. Stop doing it wrong, basically. Basically, I'm using a plasma rifle because occasionally I can send off this stun bomb, which I can't even figure out how to be sure I've done. No! It's not a good default weapon. I appreciate the speed with which he now reloads this uh, super shotgun, which is one of the upgrades I gave it, so... Kill it. Good. I appreciate how there's stuff happening in the background that I'm incapable of focusing on right now. <laughs> no, I don't have time for you. This is exactly the situation that... Oh. Interesting. We just got sucked in, I guess. I missed quite a lot there. There's a field drone. I did notice that there was at least one little chibi of myself that I failed to pick up as well. Uh, yeah, that was... I understand because at the start of the level I completely failed to actually go in the right direction, which was the wrong direction. I didn't find any secrets, although I did manage to do the attacks on the imp that I didn't mean to do in the first place. Um, I'll probably come back to that level and try and get more out of it because... Finding the predator suit upgrades is probably going to be useful in the future, but I want to see what hell looks like in this version of Doom. Hellport is now open back on Mars. Lost in the hell dimension, you're unable to stop the demons absorbing our world. Kill everything you see and find a way back. So it is said that if this opens, we're not going to be able to close it. Again, probably because of the way that I destroyed the Argent Energy battery things in the first place. But, you know, I'm a mindless marine. I don't have time for higher order... Oh, that is nice. Look at this place. Wowee. Is this what hell normally looks like, or is this just special for Doom? Let's, um, let's get a weapon with actual ammo in it. Probably didn't need to waste all the ammo that I did. There's a moon in hell. I mean, I feel like I've not really explored the full extent of all the possibilities of the uh, weapon upgrade systems. You know? And well, it's a good thing he knew what to do. This Marine has more experience in the machinations of hellish buildings than I would have actually expected. I want to stay and just look at every single piece of, imp uh, of detail that they've put into this thing. Let's do so. Look at that. I want to go over there. I don't actually need that HP. Because I've still got more HP than I'm allowed to have. Oh. We'll set up a portal device at the tube. Use the light poles to mark our 
Now I think about it, people who work here have probably been trained in the way things in hell actually work because they would have been here before. So it makes sense that they had the... Uh... Ah, I like it. That is the motif from the original Doom, which had similar doors, except they were not quite so grandiose looking. But the, the, the visuals of this game are mostly excellent, except for these weird electricity things that still look as cheap as they did in 1999 when Unreal Tournament invented them. But um, the, the combat is so frantic. You can't see what's going on, and I don't mean that in the sense of I make mistakes and can't do it. That's reserved for uh, Bioshock. No, what I mean is you don't get the opportunity to to watch. You, know, you don't get the opportunity to participate as you might expect. It's like a teleporter. Dead, dead. I mean, I don't know why I'm sniping in, you know, Doom 2016. I could just go over there and own it, you know? Oh, what am I doing on this level, by the way? Let's have a look. First of all, there's a map of hell. I appreciate that. Secondly, earn four prayer tokens somehow. Kill ten demons while using power-ups. And perform four legs to attack right leg. I didn't even know I could aim. Does this hurt? Yes. Okie dokie. Don't do that. <laughs> Simple. Apparently, you can attack the right leg of the enemy, and that will intentionally cause it to do a leg sweep takedown. Like that. Does it specifically apply to certain enemies? No. Can't do that. Can do this. Let's use this, do this. The stagger is super helpful against the Hell Knight. There we go. You die. I mean, I'm also hoping to get back some HP, but now I think about it, I've not actually got to the point where I need HP back. Some of the part of me suspects that, wow. Um, zooming in with the assault rifle actually does more damage. Ah! Implode its brain. That's the best way of dealing with those. Yeah, I'm still at max HP, so it's going to be a while before that becomes a problem. Are we done here? Nearly. Did you get me? You didn't get me. <laughs> ah, I upgrade my rune by doing death from above attacks, I think. Good, good, good. There's some armor there, so I will take it. Get up. There we go. I... Can just go anywhere. This is great. I want to go in there, but I also want to go over here. I'm torn and conflicted by the ability to explore hell. Can't do anything with this. I don't know if I recognise that from original Doom or not, to be honest with you. I do appreciate the way they've made hell have the same aesthetic somehow as they did when they brought it into original Doom in the first place. Because obviously, um, I didn't realise when I was playing it when I was a kid, but some of the things that I was doing were in hell, right? I'm hoping to find a power-up if there's a Mancubus around here. That did seem more powerful. I assume they are more powerful like this, because um, like the whole premise of the right mouse button is that you get power-ups. Like you, you're weapon does something special and therefore uh, in theory more powerful. Although perhaps simply the accuracy of it is the power in zooming in, I don't know. Another Macubus? Maybe. That hurt though. Pick up some HP and... Oh, there's several. I wouldn't mind a BFG. Can I have a BFG please? I'll have a BFG please, Bob. Um, let's get out a weapon that I think is more likely to help against the Mancubus. They are running. I can... Oh no, that's you. That was actually really good. I did discover that several super shotguns on one of those unfortunately causes it to just straight up die. Which means you don't get the opportunity for a glory kill, which means you don't get the opportunity 
for a glory kill. You zoom. I'm not sure what the right mouse button's doing there. It may be that I don't have a power up that I can take advantage of just yet. Because I've upgraded the super shotgun and it has just given me the ability to reload faster and go through baddies, which is great, don't get me wrong. Appreciate it. Like it fires faster, which is awesome. Don't appreciate these bombs coming in. Oh, kill it. Yes. I wonder how many takedowns there are of a mancubus. Because that's like, I've done one so far. It's pretty difficult to get them into a position where they're not just straight up dead. I need more ammo. Maybe hell is the point where you wish that you'd picked up the ammo um, upgrades. Because now it seems to be fairly thin on the ground. Are there more baddies? Yes. Thankfully, it's just Hell Knights, which I can super shotgun fairly happily. Until I run out of ammo, which appears likely. I do like taking down a Hell Knight with a Glory Kill. Not to be confused with Glory Hull. Still dead? We dead? Checkpoint reached. That seems like a good place then to call this episode. It's a little bit longer, but then the previous one was a little bit shorter. Not intentionally, I assure you. Uh, so here's hell. Do absorb the glory of it. It's actually really well designed. I very much like the aesthetic of this place. Um, and I might just spend some time looking at it. Um, open? No. But thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you will join me in the next episode where I will be wandering around this tormented scape yet further. Um, do check out James's videos on d d d d Hollow Knight. I can say Hell Knight. I'm doom on the brain. Um, which is a little bit gentler of a game, so it might be a little bit more sensible for people who are somewhat overwhelmed by this game, which is me right now. I need something gentle on my brain. So, yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy me. Hope you'll enjoy me next time, and until then, I'll see you.